violinists. In this video, we are going to go over how to play number 101 in our Essential Elements book, Ba Ba Black Sheep. Now, I bet you've heard this song before, but in case you haven't, I'm going to play through it from beginning to end, and I just want you to listen and follow along. Or you can drop your bow on the floor. That's what I just did. Or don't drop your bow on the floor. Yeah. The first note I start on is the lowest note you can play. G. the first four measures of the song. So the first thing I would do as a warm-up is just practice doing some nice, nice gear shifting from your G to your D string. Drop your elbow down for D. Raise your elbow for a G. some of those just to get really nice clear sound. You don't want to accidentally hit a different string when you're playing. Now every time we have this main little melody you're going to be using your open D and that is the first four measures of the song and the last four measures of the song. So that was the first two measures. Um, I started on G, I went up to D, I used E for my eighth notes, and I landed on a D half note. And then in the third measure, we're going lower. We're going from D down a note. So our next lower note, three fingers on the G string. What's one note lower than D? C. So I would take my pencil and write a three right above that first C in the third measure. And you're gonna see how now, Starting there, we're just going to be heading on down. C, C, B, B, A, A, G. Let's do that little thing. Find your third finger, C. And let's play, right, that third and fourth measure. There's two measures with those notes heading down. Okay, three. of Ba Ba Black Sheep because this little chunk is the same little chunk of music that we end the song with. So if we can play the first four measures, then we can play the four last measures, but we only have to learn the four middle measures. Okay, first four measures, right on open G. Get your left hand, your first finger right above E so it can just plop down when you need it. Ready? G. <laughs> of the first line. And now we have this little pattern um, and we're going to start on a fourth finger D. And you see there's a little four printed there. And we're just going to head on down. D, 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 C, 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 B, 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 A. Let's do that. Find your fourth finger D. Okay. Follow your rhythm. So it's ta, T, T, ta, T, T, ta, T, T, ready, go. <laughs> fourth finger D, 
empty. And it's the same pattern of notes, but the rhythm is different. So in this line, it goes D, 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 C, C, C. So we have this four eighth notes in a row, um, which I would circle. I would circle so that you're really thinking of that rhythm being different the second time. So it goes D, 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 C, 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 B, 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 A. Let's start right there in the second line and let's see if we can get all the way to the end because it's just going to start the same way as the beginning after we do this little chunk of notes right here. Let's go. Okay. Second line, fourth finger D. Ta, ready, go. <laughs> Ready? Begin. <laughs> 